Hi, Millie. How are you? Good, thanks, Grace. How are you? Good, thanks. We're going to just do a little pre-screening, um, pre-exercise screening. Uh, it's just going to let me know where you're at um, with your health and your fitness at the moment um, mm -hmm. and how we're going to proceed with the program. Um, so what's your full name? Millicent Rose Davies. And your date of birth? 30th of July, 1993. And do you, are you male, female or other? Female. Okay, so this next section is just about your, if you've got any known diseases or signs or symptoms of disease or any high risk to exercise. Have you ever, have you, has your medical practitioner ever told you that you have a heart condition or you have ever, have you ever suffered a stroke? No. Do you ever experience unexplained pains or discomfort in your chest during physical exercise or activity? No. Do you ever feel faint, dizzy, or lose balance during exercise? No. Have you had an asthma attack requiring immediate medical attention in any time over the last 12 months? No. Have you, if you have diabetes type 1 or type 2, have you had trouble controlling your blood glucose levels in the last three months? I don't have diabetes. Do you have any other conditions that may require special consideration for you to exercise? I'm pregnant. I'm about I'm almost 37 weeks pregnant. Um, are you currently exercising? Uh, yes. How um, many sessions a week would you say? About three to four. And would you call it light, moderate or vig vigorous exercise? Moderate. How long do the sessions go for? Um, 45 minutes. Okay, so what I've got here, say, you, you have, you could be less than 150 minutes. Um, so we'd start you on a light to moderate exercise intensity. Mm -hmm. um, considering you are quite heavily pregnant um, and at this stage in your pregnancy, um, we'd look at getting a referral to the GP. But let's continue with stage two of this um, pre-screening uh, and we will okay. talk about that after. Yeah. So you would be 30 this year, so you're 29 now. Yep. Do you have any family history of heart disease? No. Do you smoke cigarettes on a daily, weekly basis? No. Do you know what your body composition is? Do you know what your weight is? Um, not currently, but last time I checked, I think I was um, uh, 70. Last midwife appointment, I was 72 kilos. And what is your height? Uh, 165 centimetres. Okay. Have you ever been told that you have high blood pressure? No. Do you have high blood pressure during your pregnancy at all? Um, slightly elevated um, blood pressure, but nothing that my midwife assured me it was nothing alarming. Do you know what your blood pressure was last time you did it? 130 over 75. Are you taking any medication at all for it? No. Have you been told that you have high cholesterol or blood lipids? No. Are you taking it? No. Have you been told that you have high blood glucose? No. Are you currently taking any prescribed medication? No. Have you spent any time in hospital in the last 12 months for any conditions including illness or any injuries? No. Are you pregnant? Yes. 
Do you have any diagnosed muscle, bone, tendon, ligament or joint problems that you've been told could make worse by participating in exercise? No. That's all quite well. Mm -hmm. um, so at this stage in your pregnancy, I would like to refer you to a GP. Um, starting exercises late in your pregnancy um, may, it would just be a light intensity um, and we would look at getting you back into exercise when you are ready after the baby um, and build a program off that. At this stage, it's just about moving your body and listening to your body. Um, so I will refer you to a GP just to see whether you're okay to start doing any exercise for now. Um, the, um, client's personal health information will remain secure and confidential. This will be uploaded into my personal Dropbox, this information, um, on my computer. Um, no hard copies will be made. It will be saved on a password-protected um, folder online. Mm -hmm. So I'll just fill in this consent form, um, and it's just to share this information that we've spoken about with your GP. So I'm just going to fill this in. just your name, um, surname, your date of birth was the 30th of the 7th, 93. And what's your mobile number, Millie? 0405. Yep. 011. Yep. 600. Okay. That's just my name and my number. Okay, and it's just it's just me letting the GP know um, what I want the referral for, um, and I will sign this. Um, what I'll do is I'll upload these forms to DocuSign, um, and I'll get you to sign them, which will automatically send us both a copy. Awesome. Um, okay. So I'd just like to know what is your general fitness goal sliding, starting so late in the pregnancy? What is it that you want to do? Um, I was worried that um, my, my midwife told me that um, not exercising during pregnancy will make my recovery a lot longer. So that scared me a little bit. I wanted to start um, exercising as soon as possible so that my recovery after, preg after pregnancy would be sh as quick as possible. Okay. I, I would just start you on a very light intensity, so walking and gentle movements. Um, and then in a couple of times a week we can do a couple of... Um, weighted exercises i would just use light weights and mo for the main part i would just listen to your body mm -hmm. um, we can reassess these goals once you've had the baby and you're ready to get back into exercise um again we'd have to get a referral from your um, gp um, mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is okay um, yep. I also recommend seeing a um, physiotherapist. There are physiotherapists, specifically um, female physiotherapists, that check your pelvic floor and your ab separation and things like that. And they can also give you very specific exercises on how to correct anything that may okay. have changed since after birth. Um, are there any classes that you'd be interested in doing? Um, I quite enjoy strength um, classes, so um, some maybe some circuit training or um, upper body work. Yeah. Excuse me. So a couple of options for you would be some group classes. Mm -hmm. um, there are also other things that we can help you to give you a health benefit is a dietary con consultation. Um, as a GP, as a personal trainer, we can give you the guidelines of how many servings of vegetables and your five food groups you'll be eating. Sure. We want to make sure that 
as breastfeeding or as a mum, you're getting all of the nutrients that you need. Um, this will help you <laughs> feel better um, and hopefully we can get you on the right track after the baby's born too. Awesome. I'm excited. Great. Okay. Um, well, if, do you have any questions? Um, no, thank you. So the next step would be for me to go to my doctor, my GP. Yeah. Um, and now they'll just do a medical assessment to make sure I'm okay. And then if, if I get the all clear from them, then I um, then we're good to start training? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, and we'll reassess it after you've had the baby as well um, and we'll set ourselves some new goals and go from there. That sounds great. Thanks, Thanks. Grace. Thanks, Millie. Bye. Bye-bye.